Yeah. And we don't have 10 seconds to complete the rest of the level, so that's why we're doing this. Of course, we could just accept that we can't do this and let them all die. But I'm not gonna do that. You are entering a restricted zone. Yeah, thanks for telling. We'll take it. Oh, we'll take all. Thanks to the buff out, we'll have a. Uh, we can carry quite a bit more. We have to keep in mind though that it'll run out quite soon when we leave here, so. Oh shit. So, if we encounter combat on our way back to base, we have, might actually be immobile in that fight. So. It's a bit risky, but that if you have great outdoorsman skills, then it isn't. Yeah, there's not doesn't seem to be any lockers here. We'll st I think we're still going to have to take a look because there might be bodies, and you can loot bodies. Mainly, we're interested in rooms that have actual containers. We're not interested in killing everything again. So we're just going to sort of run past them. And hope when they lose their visual contact, not all of them will actually run after us. Yeah, he goes and blocks my road. I still can get past them. Shit. We definitely want to go there. I'll go back a bit so he can take too many shots at us for free. And I'm much well protected from backlog firing. We do have to clear out. Yeah, actually, I'm lucky that to have those cockroaches there because they don't really do much damage like one point. So now multiple uh, rat scorpions can't get into a attacking range to me and he is stuck there actually. Uh, we don't want to... Oh uh, shit. Uh, do we want to try an aim shot? How good are we actually at that? Actually quite good. It won't make much of a difference in this game. Yeah, we can easily take the small cockroach hits no matter how many we get. It's the larger creatures we actually have to worry about. Yeah, we only want one scorpion at a time. Okay, we'll hide again from the larger cockroach. No point taking two large enemies at once. As you can see, the, com the actual combat slows down quite a bit when you go into turn-based mode. Yeah, we'll let him come to us. And there will be a lot of free hits on us in this mode. Yeah, I'm gonna kill you all. No point. Not two since there's only one rat scorpion left. 
and I think he's stuck, so he won't be attacking me. Which is interesting. I'm actually going to run theirs, so he doesn't get to shoot me while the rat scorpion comes after me. And I think he's actually stuck. No, he's... That's good, because if he would, would be stuck, he would be extending these turns even long after I run past him. So now we're actually in a pretty good position. Our, our biggest threat will be the huge cockroach. Because, yeah, as I said, it, it will be like one shot kill situation. It, it really does. And he doesn't need to be in melee combat range to do that damage, so that's the worst part. He actually shoots that massive amount of damage. It's it's no problem if you have range combat. You can just stay out of his range and shoot him leisurely. Uh, useless ammo. Yeah, nothing of importance here anymore. Uh, yeah, we'll go with those lockers. I'm expecting more scorpions. Uh, cockroaches, at least. The real-time combat would be much faster, but again, the secondary objective of getting more than three fusion batteries requires us that we do this, and I don't want to give up on significant benefits you get from completing those extra mission objectives. Okay. I think this is pretty much... Oh shit, this might be a game load situation. He... He basically knocked us unconscious by doing zero damage. So we just totally helpless at this point. And crippled. So... Shit. We, yeah, we're severely crippled actually. Poison wind that triple. Yeah, we have to get rid of that scorpion immediately. How do I do that? How do I move there? Why can't I attack it? Left arm broke. Jesus. So I have to actually move this weapon there. He has to die, or I. So, as one critical hit of of zero damage, and we're pretty much totally fucked. I ah, shit. I think I will heal. There's a problem because the how this healing system works is actually uh, in this turn-based mode you can't really use it very effectively. But we really don't have any choice. We'll have to wait a turn. We have to get rid of those cripple effects, or we have to load. There's there's no other way around it. Uh, fail. This is gonna suck hard. We're gonna give it a try though. Again, this shit happens in this game. And that's why we are took the doctoring. Yeah, we're only poisoned now. So fix the cripple. Not enough action point. Yeah. 
so one good heal and we turn things around. Now you might appreciate why I took the Dark Ring. Because if I hadn't, that would be an automatic game load. No other choice, no way. Yeah. And with this system and doctoring, we, we at least have a chance to go on. No real long term harm done. So, extremely powerful skill to have. Liter literal lifesaver.